might have to try there later if I'm missing some home cooked food. But you can see the way they have it set up here is that each one is a different major city, and then each city is specific to a type of thing. So, Hollywood, you've got your fitness, you've got your entertainment, your IT. In Tokyo, you've got ladies' fashions, mini shops, Rome, international brands, restaurants are in San Francisco. That's where the uh, food court is, so I think that's the fifth floor. Istanbul, you've got mini shops, fashion accessories, San Francisco, fast food, that's the same thing. Uh, Caribbean, take home convenience store. And Paris, of course, you've got fashions, accessories, cosmetics, and local brand name. London's where you find your men's clothing. So, men's and unisex, you go to London for that. So also on the, the top floor of the Hollywood area, they have the movie theater up here and some arcades. So it looks like for 20 baht you can play, and I'm not sure if they're all set up like this or not for big team play, but you might be able to play big group because they have a lot of the Pro Evolution Soccer things set up. Maybe you can play as a big you know, as a team. I don't know, but that's cool, you know? They've got a four player here. Pro Evolution Soccer 2017. Yeah, I'm back here at the food Pier 21 uh, place. I don't know if I showed you any too much yesterday, but or the other day. But this is the card. You put money on it, basically. This is my first item. I like the fact that you can just go up, put the give them the card, they cook it for you, and you can just go and keep getting you know fresh stuff. This right here I think cost me about 30 bucks. So this is like a dollar, you know. Perfect little it's it's almost like getting like tapas. You know, like you're paying like a dollar or two per plate, get what you like, see how it is, you know, so it's a great way to try everything and it keeps everything like hot and fresh. You don't have to get like everything at once and have it get cold. You can get a little here, a little there. So yeah, I really like the concept here that they do and um, I'm curious to try this. This is noodles with prawn and squid. I put some hot sauce on it. Mmm. Oh, really good. I'm gonna try this sauce right here. I saw it up there. I don't know exactly what it is. I just know it's gonna be spicy. It's got a good kick. Not, not too spicy. But keep that in mind, spicy is relative. For me, I like spicy. Especially this kind of spicy. Um, but 
complacent is kind of something that you train yourself, I think, for, you know? My dad, he can't handle even black pepper, like the regular table pepper. But then me and my mom, you know, we love spicy. My brother, my brother can eat just raw, just raw pepper is like, I mean, you can see him sweating and hurting, but, you know, he can do it, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's perfect. I'm gonna fill this plate, and I'll show you the next thing I got. So number eight is what I'm getting. Spicy pork with salad with herbs. And I was like, yeah, spicy is good, you know? I like spicy. Okay, so round two. I decided to go with the, uh, it's basically uh, larb. At home we call it larb. Uh, Namtuck would be the, the beef name for it. But it's basically pork, onions, spice, a little bit of basil on the side. Usually very spicy. He asked me if I like spicy and I said, yeah. So I'm curious to see first how spicy he made it. I'm gonna give it a taste. And then I've got some extra spice just in case. And uh, here we go. Okay. He was nice. It wasn't super spicy. Just a little bit, you know. For me, it's not too spicy. But that's why I have this. So, always make sure you taste a little bit first because you never know how hot it's gonna be. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, I'm gonna fill this and enjoy it. And then um, I'll see what I end up with next. I'm thinking maybe soup, but we'll... So you definitely have to add a good dose of basil in here. Because, I mean, basil makes everything better, you know? It's really tasty. You can tell this is like... If you were to go to, like, your local mall back home, and it's the dish that it's intended to be, it's not like you know, five-star quality, because this is a food court at the mall, you know what I mean? But this is a great way to kind of taste a few different things, see what you kind of like, don't like, what flavors you like and don't like, and then if you go to a nice restaurant, you can say, okay, I know I like this, I'll take a chance and buy that. I didn't see how like they cook it themselves there, you know? But that's the great thing about food, is like every place has its slight variations on the original, you know? So yeah. Um, I'm loving all the food here. I, I'm not gonna lie, I love the food here. And the other great thing I love also about here, each place you go to, they give you a receipt. So it'll show you how much you're balanced at each time you use your car. So you can see right now, I have 225 left on there. I basically came here and put 300 baht on there and said whatever I eat, I eat. And then whatever I need uh, to get back, if I'm too full to eat anymore, I'll get back. So, so far, you know, those two dishes, Put me back what is that 75 75 baht which is like just over just over two dollars for two dishes and i'm already starting to feel like not like super full but like if i was just looking for a quick meal or something two bucks for like tasty fresh food you can't beat that you know for what i just bought just now back in the united states easily would be like a you know 14 dollars for lunch you know what i mean and also, I just noticed over there, Penguin eat shabu. Shabu and sushi buffet. So I'm guessing they do the shabu hot pot and sushi. But the really cool thing I noticed over there is it says it takes MasterCard. So basically, if you're traveling overseas, your only two options are Visa and MasterCard. If you have American Express or Discover or any of the other things out there, you're not going to find anywhere in the world that takes it other than America from what I've experienced. Uh, maybe London, Canada, those places, but everywhere in Europe and everywhere so far here from what I've heard, read, and seen, only Visa and MasterCard. Most places take Visa, you know, a good amount take MasterCard. It's about equal, not too different. Um, but yeah. So that's good. Um, that comes in handy when you're traveling, you know, and you can put it on your card. I don't know exactly how Visa operates. Uh, I think they maybe charge a fee. But I know MasterCard Capital One has a, 
no uh, overseas transaction fees, which comes in handy. And um, I think Visa has a couple options too. So yeah, uh, definitely contact your bank before you travel to make sure there's no transaction fees. Because you could be paying like a dollar or two here and there, but then getting, you know, 25%, which isn't crazy, but 25%, you know, fees on top of what you bought. I'm getting the time, the rice noodle roll. Come back up. You can see how good that looks. And yeah, you just give them the card, they scan it, and you're good to go. Okay, so this one might be the main event. The one that does it. Uh, I was gonna look for their seat to see how much I pay. Ah, that might be it. So, this looked absolutely delicious. And this one only costs 25. 25 baht for this delicious bowl. The pork, crunchy, something crunchy. And uh, yeah, it just looks so good. It smells so good. And I had to add like, you know, a good scoop of uh, the spicy red pepper into it. But uh, yeah, um, I'm curious to taste the broth. It's like you would pay, you'd pay basically for the same amount you'd buy a package of ramen for at home. You get this beautiful bowl of tasty goodness. And uh, yeah, uh, I love this place. I love this country. And you see that they were hiding under here earlier, but there's little, uh, there's little noodles in here too. Super soft. They just like kind of dissolve in your mouth. And then this thing. It's a crunchy hunger type thing. So good in there. It's like a crispy egg cracker. If you can imagine like a an egg wafer cracker. That's kind of like what that is. And it's just like sweet. And so it's like spicy, sour, delicious. And all that broth is really good to kind of get the, get the food moving and to keep the liquids up because you sweat a lot here. So. Gotta get a lot of liquids in. Uh, it found the best part. We got the pork chunk. So I'm gonna load that pork chunk in the spoon. See how that tastes. Mm. Mm, it's so rich and savory. I'm gonna call it umami. So it has that just savoriness, that pork, and then it's crispy on the outside. It almost tastes like duck. It's so rich, but it's, it's pork. It's so good. I'm gonna kill this. So as I was over here, just oohing and eyeing over this soup and how good it is, uh, it just dawned on me. You can actually keep that card, pretty much walk around the mall, build up an appetite, come back up here, eat, go walk around, shop, Develop another appetite, come back eat. You know, I mean, if you if your stomach's not as like never ending as mine is, and you can't kill like three three basically meals that you know one after the other, then you can do it that way. You know, and uh, you still be able to enjoy it. You know. And I actually got here kind of early. Cause you can see it's starting to get a little busier now. It's starting to fill up. You know, now it's like. The rush coming in. I got here. I got here really early. I actually was outside waiting for the mall to open with everyone else because I didn't know what time it opened and I just walked over, you know. But um, I'm gonna get a drink and then I'm gonna go do some exploring, walk off some of this uh, calories I put on. Yeah, so nothing is a good meal like that. Like blended fruit ice. I'm thinking the mango <laughs> banana or the strawberry banana. They do have passion fruit, and I love passion fruit. I think I might get the passion fruit, honestly. Um, my favorite vitamin water, the only, actually the only vitamin water I buy is the, the passion fruit one, or is that dragon fruit? That might be dragon fruit. If you know, tell me. It's like the light, it's the light pink one. Um, I think it's passion fruit. I don't know though, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll go with mango banana. I'll see what else they have. The other good thing too is like you, you can actually smell the fruit. Like as it's being blended over there, I keep getting whiffs of the fruit hitting me. So that's 
that's a good sign. You know, you can smell the freshness in it. It's really good. Super good. And the cool thing is, they have salt here too. Um, not a lot of people in America do this, but you know, a pinch of salt on your fruit actually brings out the flavor really well. And it makes sense when you think about it, you know. Salt is a flavor enhancer. So, you know, obviously don't overdo it, but a little pinch of salt on fruit actually is a really good thing. Or just a pinch of uh, salt and watermelon, that's a really good one too. Um, so yeah, uh, you know, if you don't have a blood pressure problem and you want to put a little salt in your fruit drinks from now on, give it a try. See if it tastes better. Um, I don't think I could eat anymore, so I'm going to get uh, some money back for my car, whoever's on there. And Another thing too I love about the passion fruit drink, I actually like all the little seeds in there. Um, obviously it's good for fiber. I won't get into why that's good for you. That should be obvious. But, um, oh yeah, forgot what I was going with it, of course, always forgetful. Um, so, I basically paid 125 baht for that, for all of that. Um, for the drink, for all the food, I gave them 300, I got 175 back, 125 baht. That's like, that's less than $5 to eat all that. I mean, if I didn't if I didn't walk so much here, I would put on probably like 20 pounds easily. And see, it's dangerous. Everywhere I look, I see something that looks good. Everything looks good here. Like, the food here is so good. You're gonna gain weight here unless you walk a lot. It looks so good. It's really cool, but I've actually been to all those places. And thank God I have family there, because I wouldn't be able to stay there that long if it wasn't for them. So shout out to Amir and the whole family. I love you guys. If you're watching, you guys are uh, you guys are my family. Kind of reminds me of being in London, you know, like, I remember uh, I'm being in a mall in London too because I remember I was there just before Christmas time with them and I got to go shopping with them, like walk around the mall in London and, you know, spend time with them, my second family, and uh, yeah, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully if I get to go back to Europe and everything, I'll see them again and you'll be able to meet them. They're a wonderful family, very sweet, very kind people. And a little bit of an inspirational quote for the day because why not your life is your story write well edit often